Is this on? Oh, there it is. Yay. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, before we start off, uh, I'd like for us all to rise with the national anthem, please. Sloma. Again, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, my name is Tucker Ratcliffe. I'm the choral director here, and it is always my pleasure to uh, teach all of these wonderful students. And I just got done talking to the entire department, and I really think this has been my favorite year, which is weird because I, I might be the only teacher to ever say that this has been their favorite year, but. It, it really has been a joy to teach all the kids that have been in class and the ones that have been constantly uh, tuning in on Zoom. Because the ones that are here, they want to be here, they want to learn, they want to share music with others, and they want to sing. And so it's just, it's just been really great. And we've worked so much this semester through, what, we were like out for three weeks for quarantine, and then we were out for snow, and then we had a cyber attack in December, and then we had to delay the concert for two weeks. It's just been a whole mess, but I am very, very excited to share with you everything that these students have learned. This is the Women's Choir. There's that many people in the Women's Choir this year. Um, we're gonna sing five songs for you. This first song is gonna be All Things Bright and Beautiful.
That last one is titled Lunar Lullaby. It's, it's such a pretty piece. I love it, and they did such an exceptional job on it. This next one I really, really like as well. There has to be a song.
That one was Sing to Me, and then our very last one for the women's choir this evening, besides the very, very last song, uh, is one that they're making me play the cajon on. So let me get the cajon for you real quick. It's not a box, I promise. It, it does magical stuff. So this is Sisi Nimoya.
All right, here is our seven men's men's choir. These guys will do anything and everything that I ask them to do, anything musical or even just helping out around the classroom or coming in here and sitting up for the risers or anything. They uh, continue to impress me every single day. So this first song that we are going to sing is uh, Gloria. And actually, this funny story behind this, this was originally one that we learned back in October and we were going to sing it for our Christmas concert. But we had to cut it due to various reasons. And then I picked another piece called Anya's Day that we were going to sing. And they didn't like that at all. So I said, all right, you can either do On His Day or Gloria. And they were like, I guess we'll do Gloria. So this is Gloria. <laughs> Yeah. 
that song was called The Vagabond. Is this on? Is it on? Ah. That song was called The Vagabond, and The Vagabond is actually... There it is. Uh, that song is called The Vagabond, and The Vagabond is actually uh, a song that I sang in my voice studio in college and has been rewritten for a three-part harmony. And this was actually the very... Did it go out? Oh, this was actually the very first song that the men's choir learned not even in person, but like via practice tracks on Zoom way back in August, when we, whatever, three years ago that was. Um, so they've worked on it all the entire year, pulling it back out after Christmas and stuff. This very next one is very exciting. It's called A Trilogy of Knighthood. And so uh, there's three separate movements in this. And I'll ask that after each movement, I'm gonna keep my arms up and cue Dr. Sloma going into the, into the next song. Excuse me. If you will please refrain from your applause until my arms go down at the very end of all three movements. This is The Trilogy of Knighthood.
That was Flying Solo. It's a really, really beautiful song. And the guys, I think y'all like it, right? Yeah, yeah I like it, yeah. Uh, this very last one, I know that they like, because every single day they said, Mr. Radcliffe, can we do Cover Me With The Night? And I'm like, no. And they're like, ah! Oh. Uh, so this is Cover Me With The Night uh, with our... Uh, Tenor, who's going to be leaving us this year because he's a senior and it's his first time as choir. Raymond on the mic for a solo. Cover me with the night. As we transition into this uh, next choir, which is the concert choir, I want to tell you a little bit about the concert choir. This year, in person, we probably have about, oh, I don't know, 40 some odd in class, but then also the chamber choir performs alongside the chamber choir. So with the chamber choir, we have upwards of 50, maybe lower 60s that are uh, in the group. And they're singing some really, really difficult but awesome stuff this semester. Uh, this first one will be Ad Astra. And actually, Ad Astra was a song that I was going to be doing with my women's choir last year, a three-part soprano, soprano, alto song uh, with them last year. But of course, everything got shut down in March, and so that we never got to perform it. But luckily, there was an SATB version of that, and we decided to learn it, and it's just, it's just a really cool song. So this is Ad Astra.
If you didn't catch the name of that, that was the word was God, even though they repeated it like 12,000 times. Uh, melodically and rhythmically uh, and note-wise, it's a very easy piece, but it's what they do with it that really makes it challenging with the articulation and the dynamics and everything. Um, and then also it's bass, baritone, tenor one, tenor two, alto one, alto two, soprano two, soprano one, it splits into eight parts. And they did an okay job, don't you think? <laughs>
we're gonna welcome we're gonna welcome Dr. Slumo back on the stage for our fourth concert choir piece, which is Like a River in My Soul. This is yet again another piece that the concert choir was going to be singing last this time last year and everything shut down. Um, so for how many of you were in the concert choir last year? Raise your hand. Yeah, so they started learning this piece over around a year and a half ago. So they're ready to perform it. So let's sing it. Like a river in my soul. Thank you. 
have fun with this one. That was Nyan Nyan, uh, composed by Jake Runstad. It's, uh, it's, it's really fun. It's hard, but really, really fun. This is the chamber choir. This is our top. Uh, auditioned on ooh, that's a big gap in between. We'll fix that. Uh, this is our top audition ensemble. Uh, it varies year for year, uh, year per year by how many members are in the ensemble. Uh, there's 18 this year, five sopranos, five altos, four basses, four tenors. Is that math correct? I think so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and name all the songs uh, because I'm going to try and kind of go all the way through them. So we have Siku Cherbus, uh, composed by Giovanni Palestrina first. Then we'll have a really, really beautiful song titled Sing Me to Heaven. After that, we will have uh, Spiritual, Suna will be done. Fourthly, we will have Earth Song composed by Frank Ticelli. And then lastly, we will have All That Hath Life and Breath, Praise Ye the Lord by Renee Clausen. This is the Chamber Choir.
The last one that the chamber choir is going to sing for you is All That Hath Life and Breath, Praise the Lord, with Beatrice on the soprano solo.
We've all got one more song for you, and as everyone is uh, coming up on the stage, I do want to recognize a few people, not students, that's for our award ceremony later, uh, that have really allowed all of this to happen, because it's not just me, I get to do the fun stuff, and then the Grissom Coral Parents Association Board really handles all the logistics and stuff, and uh, our students would not be uh, where they are today and be able to sing the stuff that they do today without uh, the help of the GCPA board and two other people. Uh, but first off, Kenny, are you, where are you? Are you in the booth or are you down here? Are you down here? Are you up there? He's up there. I have a card for you, Kenny. Kenny is our uh, auditorium manager. He does all the lights. He does all the sound, makes them sound excellent. So thank you, Kenny. We had to move our concert uh, back two weeks, and it was just going to be one week, uh, but this person couldn't make it, and he is essential to us having a successful uh, choir concert, Dr. Matt Sloma and everything he does for us. <laughs> Miss Sheila Moore, will you please come on down here? I'm sorry. Come on. You might have to go all the way around there. Uh, she is... Uh, kind of coming into the Coral Parents Association board uh, kind of late, uh, but I hope that she is still willing to be our president for next year. Um, if she's not, we'll have a president position open, but hopefully she will uh, be willing to do that next year. Uh, she's helped tremendously with Pizza and Pop and then, of course, uh, with today's event. So come on, come on. Thank you so much, Sheila. Don't these people look so nice and pretty up here in these dresses and uniforms? Uh, I would like to thank our uniform chair, our head uniform chair for this year and for the past three years, Miss Jennifer Jonas. Are you? I'm sure you're here. Come on down, Miss Jonas. Uh, she handles all of the, the ordering and everything. I did a little bit of sizing this year, but uh, she's really done a whole, a whole lot of stuff. And she has uh, told me to remind you, seniors, if you would like to donate your uniform after you graduate, we would love to have it so that we can provide used dresses for future freshmen. That would be excellent. You as well, men in your tuxedos. I think, oh, and we're also, uh, her daughter is graduating, so we're definitely going to need a few people to uh, help out in the next couple of years with ordering and sizing and everything like that. Thank you so much, Jennifer. I think the hardest job that no one wants to do is to handle money. And I'm so thankful that I don't have to touch it. There's a money box in the choir room, and kids just go in there, fill out an envelope, drop their money in, and my woes are hopefully taken care of. Um, but Ms. Karen Heller, she has been our treasurer for, this, is this your third year? This is her second year. Hopefully she's going to have four by the end of this because her daughter is only a sophomore. Um, but thank you so much, Karen, for everything you do. I would not be able to spend so much time with all these students. Thank you. And then last but absolutely not least, uh, her daughter was not going to be very happy if I didn't recognize her. And I've, I've always neglected to recognize these people because I get up here on the stage and I just get so overwhelmed by all of the, uh, what the students are creating. Uh, but Miss Tony Key, come on up here. She is our uh, president for this year. She held the uh, position of vice president last year and moved on into the president of the position this year. And she's, she's handled the cupcakes, she's handled the pizza, she's, she's really handled everything. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going to recognize all the students and everything they have accomplished. After this last song, we'll go out, eat some cupcakes. We got like 300 of them. Please eat the cupcakes. Uh, and then we'll come back in and do our award ceremony and slideshow. Uh, thank you so much for coming out tonight. These students, I hope that they've shown you that they've really worked this semester. Uh, and they're just really awesome, and I'm really blessed to be here. This last song, I think, is very fitting for this year. At least I hope it's very fitting for this year. Uh, this is The Storm is Passing Over.
Once again, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for your support. Uh, these students have been through uh, a very tough year, and hopefully the storm is passing over. Go get your cupcakes. We'll have our award ceremony in just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Leadership team, please help me take down the sound shells. Thank you. I didn't miss anything, did I? OK, good. Uh, we're going to do all that after the award ceremony. Are you planning on moving those? Yes. He said he's planning on moving them.
Hey, yo. Cajon. Go get cupcakes. Go. We're all done. Hey, bud. What?
田雷。Hello. Ah,、oh, there we go. All right, everyone. Let's make our way in here, so that we can get this wrapped up in about 10 to 15 minutes. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Jeremy and Beatrice, can I have you up here real quick? Jeremy, Beatrice. Jeremy. Can you find our friend?、Hmm? If anyone has seen a Jeremy, please send him this way. All right, everyone. We are going to go ahead and get started.、Uh, first off, what what we're going to do is our paper plate awards, and the paper plate awards are they're supposed to be student written.、Uh, sometimes I have to write some, and I'm not funny.、Um, but they're they're like inside jokes in the classes in the choirs.、Uh, it's it's uh, uh, parents. You, you might not get. Any of this, but hopefully the students will. So、uh, Beatrice is going to go first with、uh, women's, then Jeremy with men's, then Jeremy with concert, then Beatrice with chamber. Here you go. Okay. So starting with women's choir, the first one is Lucy Allen, and it is most likely to make an unnecessary comment. Isabella Brantley is most likely to yell she. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Brenna Chow is the most likely to make someone smile award. <laughs> Kimberly Cruz is the sweetheart award. These are so sweet. Maddie Debsky is the most likely to request Mr. Rockwood to play a song award. Rachel Huang is best target practice award. <laughs> <laughs> Is the best roast award. Okay, I hope. 
hope I don't mispronounce this. Is it Adia? Adia. Adia Mack is the Senior Award. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Kylie Romero is most likely to ask to go to the Bathroom Award. Madison Siebert is the Nokia Award. Yeah, Nokia. Faith Sledge is most likely to walk into Choir First Block Award. Kyra wow. White is most likely to chat on Zoom Part One. Award. <laughs> Elena Turek is most likely to accidentally hurt themselves. Oh. <laughs> Haley Van Dyke is the most confident award. Yeah. Maya Williams is the most missed award. Vivian Wood, most likely to be on Zoom. Sophia is most enthusiastic for you. And Isabella Zamora is most likely to chat on Zoom part two award. Yay, Women's Choir! <laughs> All right, uh, next up is men's choir. And first up is Holden Barto with the Rabbit Hole Award. <laughs> next is Raymond Exon for most likely to play an inappropriate video award. We have Aiden Howard for the Football Star Award. Yeah! Followed by Will Lewis for Guitar Guy Award. We have Alex Milan, Milan for the Secretly Loves Choir Award. Not, he's not here? All right. Uh, we have Aaron Roger for the Cat Fight Award. I don't know what that means. He's not here? All right. And last for men's choir, we have Seth Smith for the Always On Task Award. Uh, the next group is Concert Choir, and first we have Natalie Batista for Best Dragon Award. We have Maggie Bergman for Best Dressed Award. We have Alex Brodeer for Most Likely to Walk Around with No Shoes Award. Uh, we have Lila Cantrell for the Quiet Mouse Award. We also have Troy Cheeks for the Rockstar Award. Next, we have Jenny Dick for the Jenna Award. Uh, next
Next up, we have Lucy Donham for the Sassy Award. Uh, we also have Ethan Doyle for the Most Frustrated During Sight Reading Award. We have Grace Ingle for the Sunshine Award. Uh, next, we have Madison Hansen for Best Bangs Award. We have Deja Hardaway for Best Nails Award. We have Catalina Henderson for the Jolly Rancher Award. Also, Jason Hicklin for Best Memes Award. We also have Grace Holbert for the Walking Wikipedia Award. Yeah. Brent Hollingshead for Fashionably Late Award. We have Ellie Holloway for Best Hair Award. Uh, Zach Hunter for Bieber Fever Award. Yeah. Next is EJ Hutchins for the Bass Award. Yeah. We have Celeste Joy for the Largest Vocal Range Award. Next is Taylor Key for Most Likely to Insult Mr. Ratcliffe Award. Uh, sorry if I ever mispronounced this, but Ayana King, Most Likely to Get in Trouble by Her Mom Award. We have Kiva Ledesma with Cutest Outfits Award. Yeah. Uh, we have Desire Leslie for Most Likely to Have a Blanket Award. Yeah. Uh, next we have Jakisha Lewis for Can You Play Measure Award. We also have Jernisha Lewis for Most Aggressive Hand Signs Award. Yeah. Uh, we have Anna Boleyn Lopez for the Mm-hmm Award. Yeah. We have Molly Malone for the Most Danger Prone Award. Next is Lotus Marshall for the Ghost Award. <laughs> uh, we have Akaya McLaughlin for Loudest Alto Award.
We have Anna Ryan Roth for Most Theatrical Award. Next is Grayson Savage for the Best Cliff Artist Award. Uh, we have Natalie Tate for the Freshman Award Part One. Uh, we have Ciara Turner for the Where's Kylie Award. Ariana Washington for Most Passionate. Uh, we have Kai Wynn for the Lion King Award. And the last for Concert Choir, we have Kaylin Woosley for the Freshman Award Part Two. Chamber choir now. Okay, Emma Kozbeck gets the alto section, the alto section award. <laughs> Abby Allen gets the okay zoomer award. <laughs> Kevin Blaylock gets the Rapunzel Award. <laughs> Matthew Butcher gets the Newbie Award. the Bing Crosby Award. Yeah. <laughs> Sean Denon gets the Boston Tea Party Award. the Queen of the Night Award. Yeah. Jeremy Huang gets the Piano Man Award. Yeah. Olivia Moore gets the In Concert Choir Award. <laughs> gets the Croc Queen Award. <laughs> Sarah Quattlebaum gets the Most Stylish Award. gets the Can You Play the Elta Part Award. <laughs> uh, we have Beatrice Samarzeninga for Madam President Award. Anna 
Linda Slago gets the Where Are My Keys Award. <laughs> gets the Elsa's Biggest Fan Award. <laughs> Ethan Watts gets the James Award. <laughs> and last but not least, Rebecca Williams gets the Perfect Pitch Award. All right, let's wrap this up. So, uh, first I want to recognize uh, the students that served on our, on our leadership team uh, this year. I'm going to go backwards. Uh, so, if when I call your name, you feel come up here and just kind of line up right here. Uh, Anna Slagle served as our recruitment chair for this year. We have Jernisha Lewis, who served as our social chair for two years, I believe. We have Catalina Henderson, who is, uh, this is her first round of two years of our librarian. And then the person that is finishing up their two years of the librarian, Taylor Key. We have Ms. Jakesha Lewis, who is completing three years, I believe, in her role as secretary. <laughs> Jeremy Wong, who is our vice president this year and will roll over into the president position for next year. And then, of course, the one that served as our vice president last year and our president this year, Ms. Beatrice Summers in <laughs> So for a leadership team, uh, this year was a little bit different, but um, next year hopefully we're going to be able to uh, start our Coral Festival back up, our Grissom Coral Festival that we do every single year. Uh, and we do a bunch of recruitment stuff and we do a whole bunch of just, they're kind of who I go to to kind of feel, like get the feelings of what everyone's thinking about music and stuff like that. So thank you so much for your service, y'all. Thank you, thank you. All right, uh, normally we uh, have the All City Choral Festival every single, single year. And unfortunately this year, due to COVID, uh, we were not able to do the All City Choral Festival. I tried to get some sort of virtual thing started, but I was the only one that was trying to get it started. So we're gonna recognize all of the uh, individuals who instead of getting their seventh and sixth year award, uh, they're gonna get their six and five year award. So these are the students that have uh, done their all done all city for five or six years. Um, I'm gonna start with the five year awards. Uh, so if you'll please hold your applause until I completely get done with all the five and six year awards. Jakesha Lewis, Jernisha Lewis, Beatrice Samarziniga, Grayson Savage. Sierra Turner, going on to the six-year awards, Emma Kozbeck, Celeste Joy, Taylor Key. Annabelle Lopez. Aww. 
Bianca Russo. And last but not least, because these are the only people that told me they would have gotten their six and five year awards. If I missed anyone, please let me know afterwards and I'll make you an award. <gasps> Anna Slagle. Now we can clap. So for the All City Choral Festival, uh, the other choral directors in the Huntsville City Schools and myself, we uh, get with some clinicians, we pick some music, and then we provide practice tracks for the students to learn the music on their own, they practice it on their own, and then we have a, uh, a choral festival at uh, Egg Beater Jesus on Governor's Jive. And uh, it's for two days, middle school and high school. Uh, and I hate, I'm sorry y'all that we weren't able to do it this year, but congratulations on your five and your six year awards. This year for the Alabama Vocal Association, uh, we had one student that submitted a uh, solo performance. And so uh, Beatrice uh, learned two uh, classical songs on her own. We got with Dr. Sloma and we uh, professionally recorded and sent that in to the Alabama Vocal Association for her to uh, get adjudicated and to get scored. And she received a superior rating. So congratulations, <laughs> Beatrice. Alongside the Alabama Vocal Association with still an ensemble, uh, we were fortunately able to hold Allstate this year. And Allstate was a little bit different. Allstate, uh, the recordings were sent out, and then the students, instead of going to an audition room and, and being with the clinicians and, and auditioning, they recorded, they learned it all on their own. They recorded the audition online, sent it in, and then those that were selected, we had Allstate at the BBC here this year. It was just one day, really strange, but I'm so thankful that the Alabama Vocal Association gave this opportunity for our students. Uh, and so for the SSA Choir, uh, Lila Cantrell. <laughs> Troy Cheeks. <laughs> and Sophia Zajac. And then for, oh, thank you. And then for the SATB choir this year, we had Jeremy Wong. <laughs> Olivia Moore. <laughs> Beatrice Samazuniga. And Ethan Watts. Congrats. <laughs> Normally I would go into the senior awards and then go on to the, uh, the scholarships, the four scholarships that we award, but I think this year I'm gonna do the scholarships first and then go on to uh, the senior awards so that we can end with the seniors. Uh, but every year, uh, the Grissom Coral Parents Association uh, has four scholarships that we award students uh, based off of separate criteria. The four scholarships are the uh, Annette Shingler Vocal Excellence Scholarship, the Philip Gross Memorial Scholarship, the Elizabeth Stevenson Harmony Scholarship, as well as the Clarence Gandhi Outstanding Choral Student, Scho Student Scholarship. And all four of these individuals were previous choral directors here at Grissom who were here for a long time and, um, and really brought the program up to where it is today and I'm sure Parents, if you were here in Grissom, I'm sure you may have had one of those four people as your choral director. Um, and I would not be here today without them. These students would not be here today without them. Um, so all four of these scholarships are in their name. So uh, I got with the uh, Grissom Choral Parents Association board members, uh, the ones that do not have graduate, excuse me, graduating seniors and the board members went through the scholarships, uh, went through the applications that the students um, 
that the students submitted and had to come to a decision of four people. Uh, and it was very hard for them because we have such outstanding uh, seniors this year. Uh, and it was very hard for them. My input was just what it was in the class. Um, and so the, the board members have decided that uh, the Annette Shingler Vocal Excellence Scholarship, the recipient of this award goes to a student who has been continually working to develop themselves over the four years of choir and has shown extreme dedication to their personal improvement. Uh, I'm very uh, happy to say that Rachel Taylor Key has been awarded the Annette Shingler Vocal Excellence Scholarship. Next, we have the Philip Gross Memorial Scholarship. The recipient of this award goes to a student who has been the ultimate team player and has contributed greatly to the choral department as a whole. This year, the Philip Gross Memorial Award goes to Amy Wallace. The Elizabeth Stevenson Harmony Award. The recipient of this award goes to a student who works to encourage unity and harmony within the choirs, encourages others, and is helpful to all those around them. Uh, the person that received this award has, has really blown me away this year with their dedication towards their choir and everything that they've done, because they've done everything at home and has been super successful. So uh, Abby Allen, you have been the recipient of the Elizabeth Stevenson Harmony Award. Um, oh yeah. And then lastly, the Clarence Gandy Outstanding Choral Student Scholarship. The recipient of this award goes to a student that has contributed significantly to the department as a whole, in rehearsal and outside of class. They are committed above and beyond what is expected of them. And uh, I would like to say that the Clarence Gandy Outstanding Choral Student Award uh, is certified going to Beatrice Summers in the new job. Let's give one more round of applause for all, first off, all of the seniors that applied for these awards. It was extremely, extremely tough for the GCPA board to come to a decision. Congratulations to you four. All right, lastly, before we get onto our uh, slideshow and call this a night that is continuing to go on and on. Um, I'm, yes, I'm proud of you, Raina. Yes, you're um, I'm going to recognize all of the seniors. And so, I've got, all right, thank you. Um, I've got a uh, certificate here for each of the seniors, this, this senior award. Um, and it just says, thank you for your time, your dedication, and voice while in Grissom Choir. Uh, and there's a little a charm, and it says, attach this charm to your tassel and take music with you wherever you go. So this will go on your little uh, graduation cap uh, for you. So, and then also I'm doing something a little bit different here. I also have, they're not handwritten notes because my handwriting is chicken scratch, uh, but typed notes to all of the seniors. So without further ado, Emma Coe's back. Abby Allen. <laughs> Look all the line up right here as well. Kevin Blaylock. Mike Boucher. Raymond Exon. Uh, Deja Hardaway, but I think she has already uh, left us. I can do this. E.J. Hutchins. <laughs> e. 
Celeste Joy. Taylor Keith. Twins. Annabelle and Lopez. Yeah. Adia Mack. Yeah, I think she has already left out. Akaya McLaughlin. Yeah. Croc Queen, Bennett Perez. Fantastic Four. Yeah. That'll be Sarah Quadalbaum, Bianca Russo, Beatrice Summer Zuniga, and Anna Slagle. Yeah. Grayson Savage, yeah. Sierra Turner, and Amy Wallace. Yeah. Ethan Watts. Yeah. And is Rebecca here? Rebecca, yes. So these seniors hold a special place in my heart because I am, this is my senior year as well. This is my fourth year here. And these, these younglings right here uh, were the first ones to be introduced to my crazy self. And it's been wonderful seeing them grow into the, the, the men and the women that they are. And the support that they've given me through these past four years has just been, it's really been tremendous. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you. All state people, I forgot, I have your all state recordings down here, so please come and get them afterwards. All right, we have one more thing our end of year slideshow that has a bunch of the pictures from throughout this year, and then also. Um, Baby photos and senior photos of all of the seniors that submitted them. So, Kenny, uh, whenever you are ready, and then after the slideshow, uh, we're done, y'all. Thank you so much for a wonderful year. Thank you, thank you.
All right, everyone, thank you so much. Be safe. One more week, y'all. One more week. Thank you for coming out. All state. Oh.